As everybody's gathering, I want to thank each one of you for being here. It is so important that people support Old Cahaba. And your coming here today shows that you are a friend of Old Cahaba. I've got someone who has to leave a little bit early, so I'm just going to introduce him right now. We have a wonderful neighbor, raise your hand, Dr. Scott Drummond, who will forever protect the land on that side of us. <laughs> On over there. We've got another set of wonderful neighbors, Forever Wild. Is someone here from Forever Wild? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. They own 4,000 acres of pure land, just like it looked when Governor Bibb found this place and decided to make it the capital. So thank you for being a good neighbor. Mm -hmm. And thank you both for being here. Uh, I'm the President Florence Young of the Cahaba Foundation. And it is my honor to represent them. We were established in 2008 by Daniel J. Metter, who had a vision. His vision was to bring Old Cahaba back, remember Old Cahaba, reclaim Old Cahaba, and restore Old Cahaba. And for the last nine years, we have raised funds in order to come to this day today. And it's a great day for Old Cahaba. It's a great day for Dallas County. It's a great day for the state of Alabama, and it's really a great day for the Cahaba Foundation. Yeah. Now, I have some board members here. I'm not going to call their names. If you're a board member, please stand up. They come from all over the state. Stand up, David. <laughs> Thank you all for supporting us and being here today. I want to recognize someone very important. She doesn't have to make a speech. But Linda Derry, would you stand up and come over here? Woo! Woo! <laughs> this lady is the heart and soul of Old Cahaba. We would not be where we are and would not go where we're going if we didn't have Linda Derry, site director extraordinaire. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for everything you all have done. We have other special guests here. The Dallas County Commission has been extremely loyal to Old Cahaba. They have supported us every single year, and they are participating in this grand new entrance uh, with the forming of the road around the, the turnaround around the gate. I want to recognize Larry Nichols and Roy Moore and Curtis Williams. Please stand up. Thank you all for being friends of Old Cahaba. Uh, we also have another really good friend here, Mr. Menzo Driscoll, who is the chairman of the Cahaba Advisory Committee. This is a state board, state committee, that was appointed to oversee and assist Old Cahaba. And we kind of latched up with them not long ago, and we are a team now. Menzo and the members of the council who are the committee who are here. Where's Menzo? There he is. And there's some more of y'all here, too. Thank you all, and thank you so much for joining up with us to make this day possible. I want to recognize uh, Prince Chestnut, our state representative. Representative Chestnut, there he is. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing is ever successful without partnerships. And we have been blessed to partner with the county, we've partnered with the Cahaba Advisory Committee, and we have partnered with the state of Alabama. And we have some really wonderful connections there. The ladies that run it are here today. I've got Lisa Jones. Lisa, there she is way over there. She's the director. Clara Nobles is the assistant director. And Eleanor Cunningham, bless her heart, she's the site director for 11 sites that are owned by the Historical Commission. So we, we use her a lot. We are really honored today to have the chairman of the Historical Commission, the Alabama Historical Commission, Mr. Jim Day, and I'm going to call on him to say a few words. Good evening, very nice to be here. It's always good to come to Dallas County. Uh, I live in Alabaster, teach at the University of Montevallo, so I had a nice drive down today, but it's always nice to come to Dallas County. My folks taught at Dallas County High School for uh, 
many years, so it's always good to come down through Plantersville and Selma and back over this way. Uh, on behalf of the Alabama Historical Commission, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to join us today or let us join you in this momentous occasion. Uh, the groundbreaking ceremony marks the commencement of the construction of a new gated entrance to the Old Cahaba Archaeological Park. It's especially exciting for us uh, because the project will be completed in time to help celebrate Alabama's bicentennial and Old Cahaba's 200th birthday. <coughs> I'd like to thank the Old Cahaba staff. Uh, Florence mentioned Linda earlier. Our site director, Jonathan Matthews, is the assistant site director. Jonathan, I saw there he is over, over this way. Bruce Lipscomb, our curator of interpretation, and then Danny Green and Kevin Johnson help us with groundkeeping. Uh, for all their hard work uh, in preserving this significant historical and archaeological site. The new entrance uh, looked good coming in, look, has a lot of potential there, but it's a perfect example of a successful public and private partnership. The Commission is grateful for the efforts of both the Cahaba Foundation and the Cahaba Advisory Committee. Our ongoing partnership has resulted in a major land acquisition. It's been nice to see that develop over my six years on the Commission, and that, of course, helps the uh, Historical Commission's <coughs> mission to protect, preserve, and interpret Alabama's historic places. We're excited for this event. We're looking forward to seeing the entryway uh, go up and be completed. And we thank you, Florence and Menzo and others, for all of your hard work in uh, helping us to pull this together. Thanks very much. It's an honor to have the chairman here today. Thank you. I mentioned private partnerships, public partnerships. We have partnered with the city of Selma on this. The Selma Chamber of Commerce, Selma Dallas County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Information Center led by Cheryl Smedley has been wonderful. We never could have had this kind of turnout without her valuable assistance. And I'm gonna call on her because she is my partner host tonight. Cheryl? Thank you, Florence, and thank you, um, Linda Derry and your staff. As I quoted you before in an article, I said that I'm one of the hardest people working in Selma, Dallas County is, is Linda Derry. What a treasure we have right here in Dallas County. There's so much rich history, and it's right here at our front door. And I uh, just want to thank everybody for coming in, and, and this is so overwhelming and great. I'm so pleased and thankful. and. You know, folks, history loves company, so be sure and invite people to come see you because history's on every corner in Selma, Dallas County. Enjoy the evening. And now we'll hear some words from our Mayor Melton, City of Selma. Well, good evening. Let me first of all say thank you to the Cahaba Foundation for the county commissioners and for the state for what you're making happen here today. Um, when we think about Cahaba, Cahaba is the gateway to the history of Alabama. It is the gateway to tourism in this area. So today, as we turn over new dirt, I think we're turning over a major landmark today when we, when we put down the gateway for history and tourism in Selma. So thank all of you all for coming out and making this um, a possibility for us today. And just knowing that we're 13 miles down the road from old Cahaba, it's just to see the seven great. So thank you, and let's continue to celebrate this day. All right, we have a surprise. I would like to introduce Noopy Cosby, representing the Alatom Resource Conservation and Development Council. Noopy. Not the surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Florence. We've got a great crowd here tonight, and we've had a lot of good speakers and introductions before me. And I know we don't stay out here uh, all that much longer. We've got a lot of good food and uh, some beverages to participate in. But I do want to take you back in time. But I don't want to take you back to 1819, okay? I just want to take you back to 1983, which was September the 23rd, 1983, right here at Cuz's Barbecue. We had an announcement similar to this, where partners came together. We had the State Soil and Water Committee, 
the Alatom RCND, the Dallas County Commission, the Alabama Historical Commission, all came together in a commitment for Old Cahaba to bring it back to life as much as we could. Uh, Larry Oaks was the director of the Alabama Historical Commission. Uh, Mr. Frank Cayley was chairman of the Dallas County Soil and Water. Carl Morgan was uh, chairman of the um, Alatom RCND, and Mr. Ernest Todd was the chairman of the State uh, Conservation District. Judge Jones was the probate judge, and today he serves on the local Alatom RCND board, but he could not be with us today. We also have another member, Charlie Key, who's here, and Mr. Aubrey Carter is a former member, and uh, Ms. Kathy Trailer represents the Soil and Water Board. Now, I know you probably looked at this and you said, what in the world is RCND? And what is Alatom RCND? Well, RCND stands for Resource, Conservation, and Development. It was started through the United States Department of Agriculture. And throughout Alabama, we have nine councils, just like Alatom RCND is one of them. We have uh, local people, it's local led. Uh, with me today is also Marie Louder, who is the executive director, raise your hand, Marie, of the Alatom RCND. <laughs> It's a special privilege for us to do projects. We have done over 5,000 projects in 20 years with an investment impact in this state of $1 billion. I would like to say we put more of that here, but we're just here to announce a little check today. Um, this celebration to, uh, years ago, uh, Senator Sanders had just gotten elected to the Senate, and I'm sorry he could not be here today, but Senator Goodwin and myself were um, in the legislature at that time. Um, so, what we're doing here today, Marie, just lay it, lay it right in here. Oh my goodness. We're, we're making a presentation to y'all, and at this time, I'd like to ask uh, Prince Chestnut if he would come forward. The legislature invests dollars into the Alatom RCND Council, and without them willing to do that, we cannot make uh, appropriations and funds to different groups and organizations throughout the state. So we're going to make an announcement in just a second where Prince is going to present a Florence uh, this check to be a partner with all of you all who have participated in this project for this gateway interest into Old Cahaba. But at this time, I would like to turn the microphone over to Prince, and then we're going to do the announcement. Representative Chester. Good evening. When, when I was elected, Nuka Cosby was somebody that I talked to a lot when when I even thought about running for office. And as we proceeded, he's walked me through and showed me and taught me a lot of things about how the legislature works and how to get things done and what projects are noteworthy and need support. And the Cahaba Foundation was one of those projects. And so I find history as being one of our most important parts of what we stand for and what we're about in this community, whether it's Selma or Dallas County, whether it's the Civil War, whether it's civil rights, or it's the beginning of the, the state um, legislature and the state house, and Cahaba being the first it was very, very important that we continue to support the efforts, uh, the private efforts, uh, with public dollars. And so I'm just thankful that you guys would elect me, and I ask that you will elect me again. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an election coming up in June, as a matter of fact. But um, I, I definitely um, thank everybody for your support. 
I see my lawyer over there with Ralph Hobbs and I see um, I see my, my former librarian I'm in Seoul I just see so many wonderful people who have helped to make me the person that I am and um, and I just want to be a part of helping the next generation in the same way that you all helped me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Representative Chestnut. I'm not sure about the protocol here. Let me say this real uh, quick as first. The Cahaba Advisory Commission, uh, Lenzo is the chairman. Ms. Blackwell is here. She's, uh, I don't know who else has been on the board. If you have, please raise your hand. Cecil. Who else? Uh, but, but, okay, good. Glad all y'all. There he is back over there. Well, the uh, a, a quick story. When Lipa Gies and I were in the legislature, we were trying to find a way to fund Old Cahaba. We were going to put it uh, in a line item in the budget. He said, we don't want you to do that. We don't, they going to look like a pork barrel. I said, pork barrel to them? It may be, it's good government to us, okay? That's what we said. So he said, well, I'd like for it to be kind of a statewide. So that was the development of the Cahaba Advisory Committee where we got members of the Cahaba Advisory Committee from all over the state to represent that board. So there, when we would try to get funds from the legislature, we'd have all of them lobbying their members. So that was the uh, Cahaba Advisory Board during the Bob James term. At this time, um, uh, Florence, if you would come over here, please, sugar. And uh, I, uh, let's see, Mr. Day, Historical Commission. Like I said, I don't know the protocol, but and Miss Jones, this is just um, um, uh, Menzo, please. And Cheryl, you're please. Cheryl, don't, don't take pictures. Come up here with us. Where are you, Cheryl? There she is. Okay, give your camera away. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say about this 20, 34 years ago. Uh, I see we have some press here, but we had dueling banjos with uh, Al Ben and Chuck Chandler. They were the ones who, who wrote the press article that day. Appreciate the TV folks being here, too. Um, let's see. Um, all right, that is going to, I think, do it. So um, at this time, Marie, would you come forward and give uh, Representative Chestnut this check? If y'all would all move forward, I'd like him to present on the behalf of the of the RCND program to Florence and the Cahaba Foundation <laughs> a check for thirty thousand dollars. Come on in. Okay, look this way, everybody, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Thanks. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To tell you the background of this, we had raised some money over eight years to buy the land. We had some other money we had raised which would almost finish the gate, and then this bonus came along. And now we can not only build the gate, we can landscape the gate and make it truly significant of Old Cahaba's important status. I'm going to um, recognize a few other people real quickly. Tara Morton's son is here. Tara, wave your hand. Where are you? There she is. Tara is a grant writer, a consultant, and she is helping us to locate other $30,000 checks out there <laughs> that someone just really wants to give old Cahaba. Uh, we have uh, our landscape architects here. Chuck Kelly, where are you? Way in the back, and Patrick Whalen. They designed this new entrance and they are designing the landscaping and we thank them. And somebody else important here today is David Owsley with Al Frazier Owsley Construction. Where are you, David? He's going to build the thing. 
so that's it's all very exciting um, in a minute I'm gonna go inside and take the veil off our donor plaque we have a beautiful bronze donor plaque which has the names of the major donors for our capital campaign phase one which raised a million dollars these donors were significant in their gifts but every $25 check every hundred dollar check Every $1,000 check that we got from Alabamians across the state made this goal possible. So I will, show, I will open that and I invite you to the gift shop. It's open for business. And please come in and see the plaque. And you're sitting under this wonderful tent here. I want to thank First Cahaba for helping us with this tent because we took the sun off some of our heads. And now at this time, we, we didn't want to meet down at the gate because it's so far away, so we're going to have a little ceremonial dig right here. I would like to call on um, Ralph, Menzo, and Cheryl. <laughs> ceremonial dig and I'm gonna dig my shovel mine is a dig for Dan matter it's a dig for Dan <laughs> okay everybody long time coming <laughs> <laughs> Dig for Dan. We work really one, hard to get one this. More, one more, one more. Look this way, please. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Now, meet and greet our wonderful vendors. If you haven't already, they donated their products for us today. So let's enjoy, and maybe this little breeze will keep up. Thank you all so much, and go into the visitor center and see our class.